So hello guys, so we are back in 1.10 update now and yeah, we're gonna do some stuff. So as you can see and here our zombie farm, zombie skeleton farm is doing amazing. Look at all this XP. Damn boy! Music to my ears. Okay, so we got 45 levels, that's a lot of levels. So yeah, basically what we are gonna do in this episode since 1.10 update was not really oriented to the exploring. We are gonna go and well, generate some new chunks and then later go and fight the... How do you see? Sea dungeon. Sea monument or whatever you call it. Actually, now when I realize, maybe exploring new chunks is not so a good idea because next update is, if I remember correctly, exploration update, which basically brings the sunken ships and treasures and I think coral reefs, reefs, whatever. So yeah, we might wait a bit and go exploring then. So in this episode, we're gonna prepare for the sea monument fight. Oh, and also this double spawner is not so far away from our home, like, I don't know if you can see it from here, let me try. Okay, you can, I didn't make the piddle, or like, it's over there. And this was the forest, I started the forest in one of the first episodes. Oh, also, and now we have strays in the, as you can see, in the snow biomes. Instead of skeletons... Oh, and I get slowness, great. I... what? I... Why can't I hit you? That's weird. But anyways, now we get strays. And spiders. Like we always did. And there's a skeleton, normal skeleton, which is also weird. And a stray over there. And over there, and over there. And a zombie coming for me. And Jesus, this slowness takes forever come on clear up and oh no my horses are leaking oh and we got arrow of slowness so new arrows are here and the ender dragon is here too so oh my god we need to respawn the ender dragon we need to kill the water monument there's a lot of stuff to do oh and also i realized for us to get the water breathing potions, we need to go fishing for puffer fish. So, yeah, let's find a lake and go fishing. And let's see if we can luck out with a. Okay. Fishing rod, since when does the enchanting table have sound? I am too old for this game, but I don't know what lure is, so let me just check out on the internet. Oh, so there's a. Enchant is actually good because it decreases the time I need to wait to fish up the fish. Great. So we are here and let's queue up interesting fishing session. So it's slowly getting night time, if I'm not wrong, yep, there's the sun, and we got 4 puffer fish, which is enough, if I'm not wrong, for like 12 potions of water breathing, so we should be okay. Let's just go to sleep and we will teleport back home. Also I just realized that all my glass is over here, because for some reason I brought it over here, so yeah, we're gonna take 32. So I just realized I have three horses at my base and I'm still going by foot. Logic. So we are finally home and let's get those water breathing potions so we all get. I think that's a lot of glass but let's use it all. Move a little. 
yeah, that's gonna fill my inventory. So one, two, three, and we need another ward. Yep. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just cut to the chase. Oh, also, the, the brewing now needs the blaze powder, so that's new, I guess. Good thing I have that blaze farm that I thought of making and turns out in the end it was a good idea. So apparently the brewing stands now have sounds too. Like I've been playing on PvP servers all my life and I've been playing, you know, without the sound because you don't need sounds when you have a huge farm of blazes and whatnot falling down to your spawner and blah 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 and having a huge base with water all around but yeah, the brink stand has sounds. Okay, so this makes more sense. You know what this guy that doesn't jump? Look at this guy. Zoom! Like five blocks. How much is that? Like look at that. Okay, let's let's do queued up full jump. Look. Wait. Yeah, we can like jump up. <laughs> you see that's what I'm saying. Like this guy over here is the worst horse ever. So we're gonna put you over here. And you're gonna be named when I find an empty shit because What is that? Honestly, what is that? <laughs> I even can't I imagine I wonder what this guy does. So yeah, the taming process of this guy is me turning head mm, 360 because why the fuck not? Okay, this guy inherits the genes of the other guy because he jumps but just a bit higher. Oh no, you are getting outside. No, that's not what we want. That's meant for me to get outside, not for you. Okay, that's still not good because you're gonna waltz outside. No. What? Where did that block go? What is happening with those... with this sheep pen? Like... Okay? And my stack of logs just went poof. Gone into existence. What? Why is my... What is that happening? Like, what are my controls? Everything seems to go bad for some reason. And this guy, I'm gonna call him Pogostick because look at that height. But he's not the fastest horse in the region, but well, this is what we have and what we, t what we need to do. But look at that jump height. That's insane. That's like, what, four, three, four blocks? Three blocks in the height. Height. Whatever. You get a point. So yeah, I think we have everything we need, we got few potions of regeneration, we got food, we got like nearly an hour of water breathing potions, so we are good to go, let's go. Actually while we are here, I'm gonna test those other horses, I'm gonna just tame them because why the hell not, and see how fast they are. Like this guy has no HP, but he might be fast as, you know, formula. Okay, let's nick the... Saddle of you, but we're gonna leash you so we don't confuse you with this guy. And where is he? Okay, and you are absolutely slow, but you do jump high like your guy over here. But you are slow, I need a fast horse, so no, for me, let's test you. Oh, looks like this guy is faster, you see? But he... well, he jumps... okay, I mean... He's not that high, but you know... I wonder how far you would jump, how much HP you have. Well, we can find out. So, wait... oh, no, that's my horse, that's my jumper. And let's take that off you. And let's try and tame you. Oh god, this guy is fast. Like, this is what we are looking for. No, where is my lead? You are my jumper. And how far you jump? Okay, you are my new best horse. You jump high. You. Okay, we're gonna leave you to live out here because, you know, it's safer for you here. And we got our fast and furious horse. Plus, he jumps maybe even higher than the other horse. You see? This is the exact reason why I hate new combat. Like, hey, I have my horse, but what if I 
don't wanna fucking hit my horse when it runs in front of me, well, that sucks, I have to hit it because it's in front of me, and you know, we got this stupid mechanic that hits, yeah, a few mobs, don't hit my horse, leave my horse alone, where are you, come over here, I just hate the new combat, like, the fact that I can do this, okay, that's not what I wanna show, but the fact that I can't spam, I need to hit and wait, hit and wait, hit and wait, hit and wait, hit and motherfucking wait, somehow I'm missing him. If I kill my horse, you see that? Why am I able to do that? Like, bring immunity. No. No, no, no. You better not. You better not. Come on, stop, stop, stop this. Am I gonna die because of stupid comeback mechanics? No, you go away. Go away. Stop, leave me alone. I don't know why I can't hit you, like, why am I so bad? Go away, finally. Jesus, that was annoying. Okay, so this is really bad. My horse is one hit from death. And I don't want it. And I have no way to heal him. Fucking witch. And the poison, like, what am I supposed to do? I can't sleep. There are skeletons again where I was. Like, I have no options. Shit. Well, you know what? You're gonna stay here because I'm not risking losing you, okay? This is gonna be your hole for now and... Fuck those skeletons, really, fuck them. I... No! Where do I heal them? I heard one. You see them? You wanna kill me, eh? I'm not gonna let you kill me. Let's hope the horse uh, won't despawn for some reason. Because they know to respawn. I mean despawn. Where did you come from? Aren't you supposed to be in deserts? I guess one of those parts is considered desert because... Yeah, like this part probably. And look at... Okay, bye bye. I'm destroying the old lands. Why? Because... I can't one-shot keepers before they blow up. I hate new Minecraft, honestly. Okay, so we are here. Let's explore what we have. I just realized I should have made the night vision potion. Because you won't see anything I do. <sighs> okay, let's go in. Actually, it's not that bad. But this is gonna be horrible. Me not being able to swim? Yeah. Interesting content. And let me just check quickly. Oh, that's what we were waiting for. Let me just check quickly. Did I just box myself in? Great. I know you can't see shit, but this is the worst pain in the existence of the existence of the Minecraft. I have fatigue. Free, and I'm underwater. I'm gonna die here. I don't think I will be ever happier hearing the dirt break. Fucking finally, one more to go. Also, just for the better video quality, of course I want to do this, you know, without the potion of night vision. I'm sorry, I had to cheat, like... One potion of night vision is better than the whole black video, so what do we do actually here? I guess we need to find the guardians and kill them and then we get rid of the curse or the maining fatigue, but the main challenge is finding them. And the worst part is, what is the reward for doing this? Four cruel blocks and a bit of sponge, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, oh look at that, we have nothing over there. And I hear them, but I don't see them. Jesus fucking Christ, I got scared. Imagine just swimming up here and turning around and you see this guy. And do you hurt? Oh, oh, you hurt. And 
and we killed him. We got a one sponge. Just two more to go. Great. Oh, we got mining fatigue again. So, oh no, that's not the room I want to go in. That's not the room because there's a lot of you guys and you are annoying. Especially when I can't get to you and there's a dead end over here. Great. Yeah, push me back. That's right. And is there a big guy over here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. I know there's blocks, called blocks in there, but... Okay, that's not good, that's not good. Let's break line of sight. Line of sight, okay, nice. Was that a big dude? No, it wasn't. We need to find the big dudes. Okay, so far we are not targeted, which is okay, because... This desert temple is not really... Desert temple. Water temple is not really that hard as much as it's annoying and not worth doing because honestly rewards are eh oh that's a lot of sponge we might come here back later but that's a lot of sponge but we need to find the elder guardians not sponge i hear the big dude but i don't see the big dude like i have no idea where he might be hiding and we got a water bottle, great. Oh, here he, here he is. Okay, let's break line of sight. And we got the second guardian. One more to go and we can conquer this place. And here he is, boys. We found the last one. Let's do Let's get this amazing fight going on. And we just won. Now we can do whatever we want with this desert temple. Ocean temple, whatever. I think we can finally now get all those sponges. Yep, that's the correct way to get all the sponges. Wet our own sponges with the sponges. Now this is the trick because, you know, there's no more elder guardians, oh no that's a lot of guardians though. We can just swim up and be free from this hell of temple. And yeah, that's whole adventure there is to this temple. So anyways, let's end this video on this weird ice patch in middle of nowhere. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this today's content, and if you did, you know what to do. And this guardian is really annoying me. He really wants my head. So anyways, I'm gonna kill some more of them and you enjoy your day. Goodbye!